So we're doing a little soybean uh, harvesting here. Well, I never really harvested, or soybean, I'm sorry, sunflowers. While I never harvested sunflowers in real life, I did, uh, I did go on a harvest crew once. Uh, started in June, and we started in Kansas. And I was on a John Deere 8820 with a 30 foot header. And we started uh, wheat harvest. And we went up after we were done in kind of north central Kansas, north of a large town called Salina. Um, we went to South Dakota. We started in uh, Prussia, South Dakota, right in the center, lower center, and spent uh, about a month in Prussia area, Prussia, and a little bit north of Prussia. Um, harvest life on a harvest crew is uh, it's not for everybody I tell you that is uh, you literally get up before dark and you're servicing your combine I forget how many I counted once how many grease certs you know if you're not familiar with their grease cert is it's the little nipple that the uh, grease gun attaches to uh, so that you can uh, grease a bearing or a pulley or whatever needs to be greased but uh, greasing my combine usually took about 30 to 40 minutes maybe a little longer depends getting the combine prepped for uh, the day's activities usually took about an hour refueling putting windshield washer fluid in, whatever. Uh, and then we would literally start harvesting and uh, up in South Dakota we would go till oh, 1 or 2 a.m. sometimes. Literally come back to our camper and take showers and go to bed and get up and do it all over again on four or five hours sleep. And you do that day in, day out, no days off. Uh, the only time off we had was when it rained uh, one time and we were we stuck in the camper for about four days. Um, we watched Top Gun on VHS tape so many times that we had all the lines memorized. Uh, so anyway, after uh, we worked our way north to South Dakota, we worked our way up into North Dakota, and yeah, I'm not doing so well here, I'm kind of checking this up, but uh, I don't remember all the towns in North Dakota, but we worked all the way up just shy of the Canadian border. We did take one afternoon off to drive across the border so we can say we've been to Canada. Uh, this was back before your passports were required. Uh, and that ended in late August. And the boss asked me if I wanted to go cut soybeans in Missouri and Arkansas. I said, sure. So we took our uh, combines into Missouri. And uh, we had 25 foot soybean, 25 foot soybean headers. And uh, soybeans are a little different than wheat um, because you have to cut them off way low at the ground. So your header is literally riding on the ground. So you have to be very careful about rocks and other things. And uh, you get a little bit later start with soybeans because uh, any kind of moisture makes them really, really hard to harvest. And you plug the combine up really fast. There were multiple times I spent an hour or more uh, uh, unplugging the combine because I sucked too many soybeans in at once and plugged up because the soybeans were still a little wet. But, uh, but uh, yeah, we went through Missouri, uh, down south of Missouri, and down into Arkansas, and that lasted until uh, 
just a few days before Thanksgiving when we came home. And that was my experience as a professional combine driver. Saw a lot of territory, saw a lot of new things. Learned about eating at uh, small town cafes. So, yeah, little story for you. <laughs>